Hey, VC, this is Zonk Man here. Are we ready to do some damage? Make sure everything is good. What are we doing? It's it's the uh, land of contests. There's a sort of springtime, so there's a whole lot of contests going on. Um, I have not been a good participant in contests going around the VC, but I'm getting in on these. And basically, these are for uh, two channels. One's getting ready to end here at the end of the month. And the other one is actually going till mid-April. But I'm going to do... I'm cheating. Salt Man's got to do something different. You know, just something to do whatever. So if this disqualifies me, you guys can go ahead and tell me how this disqual disqualifies me. Uh, but I'm doing a two-for contest in one video. Um, the first one is Art, North Carolina Vinyl Picker, a push for 200 subs. Of course, he's already past 200 now, um, and I could not tell you exactly where he's at today. But uh, So we're going to do a contest for him. The other a channel is Aaron Meet the Almer, and his is a 1,000 subscriber contest. So we're going to knock out two. Let's try to go ahead and just get that going. Stop messing around. I'm already cheating, so I guess it doesn't matter if I mess around or not. Um, so Art wants us to just, he wants it super easy. Actually, both of these contests are easy. <laughs> um, Art wants it easy. Show five albums with instruments on the cover. Easy enough. Easy enough. So Art, here you go. Get ready to be zonked. Yes, I'm the zonk man, so I'm going to... Do some zonking. Um, we'll fire it off right off the bat. Y&T, In Rock We Trust. Playing the guitar there. Rocking out. This is their 1984 album. This is good 80s hard rock heavy metal there. Y&T. Oh, 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 I want to show this. Okay, also on... I want to show this. I'm showing a CD. This is Jackal. Let me get this thing. Actually, there's no glare. We'll just leave it in there. Jackal. Self-titled 1992 album. The instrument I'm showing is the chainsaw. So if Art, if you're not familiar, uh, this is MTV era stuff here. Uh, check out Jackal. The song is the Lumberjack, and he is playing the chainsaw. So that's an album I want to show with uh, instrument on the cover. Um, I guess that was that whole, if you're going to top grunge, you got to come out with some kind of niche or whatever. <laughs> so that's a 1992 album from Jackal, self-titled, uh, with a chainsaw on the cover. Here's some Roy Buchanan, A Street Called Straight. Of course, he's got his uh, guitar on there. Uh, I assume that's his kid too i have no idea this is in the shrink 1976 album just good stuff man um that's crazy man it had like a special 299 sticker on it and then marked down to 150 uh but all right little roy buchanan a street called straight let's keep it rolling got a so the zonk man does have some jazz maybe not the uh, most desirable jazz uh but it's good stuff um, Jean-Luc Ponty, Fables, and he is playing the violin. They even, they even call it something else. It's some special violin. The Zeta violin on there. This is a 1985 uh, record. So it's definitely in that era of that like contemporary smooth type jazz stuff going on. Uh, another one, Atlanta Pops Orchestra, conducted by Albert Coleman. Hooked on Country. So I got to show a country album. Zonk Man's bouncing around all over. So, uh, yeah, you got the fiddle here. Banjo and harmonica on this guy. Um, he's We have our flautist uh, with the flute back there. Uh, trombone action. Some saxophone, I guess. And uh, we'll call that the bass. And, of course, this lady here in the center. She's got some uh, the tambourine. And uh, some other instruments she might have. Uh, uh, she might play something with that cowboy uh, hat and that cowboy boots. Uh, maybe those those uh, tassels. I think that's an instrument too. 
Uh, so anyway, Hooked on Country. Of course, this is, they just blend a lot of tunes in together. All right, and what is that from? 1982. All right, let's keep rolling. Oh, man. So I've shown five, but I got to show this is like to make sure in case the jackal doesn't count or something. This is King Buffalo, Acheron. And you're like, dude, like, where's the instrument? The instrument is the stream. And that is on this record. The water going through. This was recorded in the caverns. This is for you, Art. Uh, you may not be familiar with some King Buffalo. This is a 2021 record. King Buffalo recorded in some caverns in New York State. And the instrument I'm saying is on the cover is the water. Because you can hear the water running in the caverns on this record. Kick ass. We'll show some wicked uh, colored vinyl too. Check out that tripping vinyl. All right. Boom. All right. So... That is Art, North Carolina Vinyl Picker. Thank you for doing this contest. Hopefully this is in on the deadline. I'm thinking it is. I think you said last day of March. And show five records with instruments on the cover. So if you're not familiar with North Carolina Vinyl Picker, you'll need to go check him out. And the other one, Aaron Mitha Alamare out in Idaho. Um great channel he does tipsy tuesday that is hilarious he's basically shows he's got a record plan he shows what he's already played and then what he's going to play for tuesday while drinking an adult beverage and having a good old time so it's always because he'll just like stop talking to the camera and start singing the song that's playing in the background and then just start chugging his beer and you're like this is tipsy tuesday man so, Aaron, thank you very much for your channel. This is a 1,000 subscribers contest. Um, he said it's, it's the only subscriber contest that he'll ever do because it was a milestone. So, it's a definitely awesome milestone. Great channel. Um, great friend in the vinyl community. And his contest is show uh, something that you have that was influenced by somebody in the VC and it doesn't matter, you know, whether it's watching somebody's video in the comments, sending you VCLT that you weren't familiar with, or what have you. So anyway, and I did a couple records instead of just one. First one right off the bat is Black Market Brass, Undying Thirst. This looks like a stoner rock record. This is not. This is Coal Mine Records. So this even has like this 70s uh, R&B soul funk vibe flowing through it. Uh, and it came out in 19 or 20. Oh man, I forget. Anyway, real cool uh, record. Coal Mine Records is awesome if you're not familiar with that. And the channel was, of course, Grown Man Record Night. Mikey Bananas over at Grown Man Record Night basically showed this and said, you, if you're watching my show, you need to go out and get this record. If you like what I play on Friday nights, you need to go out and get this record. So, of course, I did. The Zonk Man is looking for the black market brass. Anyway, kind of a funny story on this record, too. Um, he talked about it on like what, what was new coming out or whatever. And he had not purchased it yet. And I basically got the last copy in a store here locally right before he showed up later on that day um, to pick this up. I want to say this was like February 2020. So it was before the craziness ensued. I'm just not finding a date on it. It's just not bouncing out at me. But cool record. I would not have gotten this if it was not for the VC, if it was not for Grown Man Record Night and uh, Mikey Bananas. So, killer stuff. I'm going to show one more and be done. Um, Cadaver for the Dead Travel Fast. This is a 2019 release. And this is this is some stoner rock. And these cats are foreign. I forget if they're Sweden, Finland. I forget. I forget exactly where these guys are. Um, but I saw this shown on Andrew Tales from the Crate. 
probably very early on me watching videos in uh, the VC, which would have been around 2019. Um, he showed this record, talked about it, did his needle drop, boom. Uh, off to the store I went and got it not too much longer after that. Cool stuff. I would not have known about if it wasn't for the VC. Thank you, Art at North Carolina Vinyl Picker. Push to 200 subs. Y'all check him out. And if you're not familiar, you should be. If you're watching uh, anything on my channel, you should already know about both of these guys. And Aaron Mitha Alamare is the other one with a 1,000 subscribers contest. Killer stuff, man. Y'all have a good day. We will talk to you later.